नमस्ते मिसे संध्या दीक्षित फ्रॉम कैवल धाम लोनावाला टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन प्राणायाम ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच योगा इज एन आर्ट ऑफ स्टेब्लिशिंग हार्मोनी बिटवीन इंडिविजुअल एग्जिस्टेंस विथ कॉस्मिक एग्जिस्टेंस एंड प्राणायामा इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द आर्ट थ्रू विच वन डेवलप एन अवेयरनेस ऑफ वंस प्राणा और लाइफ फोर्स प्राणायामा एक्सटेंड्स एंड इम्प्रूव इम्पावर द प्राणा बट इट ऑल्सो रिवाइटलाइज एंड सूद इज द वाइटल एनर्जी सो दैट द बॉडी कैन हार्नेश इट द सोल ऑफ प्राणायामा लेज इन कंट्रोल इनहलेशन रिटेंशन एंड एक्सिलेशन इन थर्ड सूत्रा ऑफ चैप्टर टू इन हठ प्रदीप का सेज यावत वायु स्थित देहे तावत जीवन मुच्यते मरण तस्य निष्कासितो ततो वायु निरोधयेत एज लॉन्ग एज प्राणा वायु इज फ्लोइंग इन द बॉडी लाइफ एग्जिस्ट डेथ एसेंड्स एज सून एज प्राणा इज ड्रोन आउट from the body therefore vayu should be regulated and pranayama should be practiced in grand in hatha pradeep ka also the first shlok says the first shlok says that athasane drane yogi vashi hit mitashana guru pudishta margena प्राणायाम समभसेत वेल वर्स्ड इन आसन सो फॉर फॉर प्राणायाम आसन इज मस्ट वी हैव टू बी सिटिंग इन प्रॉपर मेडिटेटिव आसन एंड कीपिंग आवर बैक इरेक्ट स्ट्रेट इन समम काय शिरोग्रीव द हेड नेक ट्रंक इज इन बैलेंस कंडीशन एंड आईज क्लोज कंट्रोलिंग आवर सेंसेस इंद्रियाज एंड ऑल्सो डाइट and under the guidance of a competent teacher one can do pranayam the second shloka says chale vate chalam chittam nishale nishalam bhavet yogi sthanut vapnoti tato vayu nirodhayet so long as the vayu is moving uh, then the mind's mind moves if you want to control your mind you control your breath because both are interrelated so that is a very important so we should do pranayam so the importance pranayam is a great in all text we can see so same in uh, if we do the proper pranayam then we can get rid of all kinds of disease if we are not doing the pranayam properly we just invite the diseases this is in the text says and if we see the patanjali yog sutra the according to patanjali yog sutra there is a few sutras are there for pranayam the first sutra says tasmin sati shwas prashwas your gati vichhedah pranayam so shwas means inhalation and prashwas means exhalation and gati vichhed means pause in between inhalation and exhalation is pranayam so that means controlled inhalation is purak and controlled retention is kumbhak and controlled exhalation is rechak so there is a three term and always rechak must be double of your inhalation if you are inhaling 5 we exhale 10 so that means pran and ayam there is a two word is there if we see the pranayam so pran is a life force or the vital energy or uh, and ayam is a pause in between inhalation and exhalation so we empower that prana is pranayam so in pranayam we are slowing down our breath in normal in one uh, minute we take inhalation or exhalation 14 to 16 time but when we do pranayama then we slow down so 
hardly 4 or 5 times we can do inhalation and exhalation. The second sutra says about the types of retention. So, uh, there is a sutra is there bahe abhyantar sthamb vrittir desh kal sankhya bhi paridishto dirgha sukshma. The retention can be different types one is after exhalation, one is after inhalation, one is in between uh, any time it can stops. So, this depending upon how your progress is going on when you are doing pranayama. So, like desh, desh means the place of retaining your breath. Suppose you are inhaling, then the air is going, then there is somewhere up to where that air is going, that is a your desh, kal, the time of retention, the time of your inhalation and exhalation, how many time you are retaining the breath or you are inhaling or exhaling, your rounds ratio means how many rounds you are doing, 10 rounds, 20 rounds, 30 rounds and ratio. Inhalation, how many seconds, your exhalation, how many seconds. So, this is also very important. Then the benefit of pranayama says, tatakshiyate prakasha varanam dharana sucha yogyata manasaha. When we do proper pranayam, the covering uh, like avidhya, uh, the covering of the like uh, we really we are too much of the too much of the external world and we are not understanding the proper concept of the things. We are in like uh, of the maya or avidhya. Uh, so, whatever is unreal, we believe that is real or real we believe unreal like that. So, this when we start doing pranayama really we understand the proper things, how okay? it comes like that. So, this is the effect of pranayama and the mind get prepared for the higher practice of yoga like dharana. Hmm? dharana sucha yogyata manasaha. So, really then fit to enter into the state of dharana. So, really speaking pranayama is a gateway of higher practices. Like if you see the stang yogiyam, niyam, asan, pranayam, then pratyahar. So, withdrawal of the senses are there after pranayam and also dharana sucha yogyata manasa, then dhyana becomes easy. And then the halas step is samadhi. So, pranayam, if we see the general benefit of pranayam or therapeutical benefit or the traditional benefit as according to Patanjali was the tatakshiyate prakasha varanam, if we see the hatha yoga, it remove the diseases of vata, pitta and kapha, uh, the all diseases and also the balance between the ida, pingala and shushumna, there is a harmony comes and it also awakens the kundalini, the energy uh, which is, is in dormant. So, this is the dormant in the muladhar, in the, la, the first base chakra it get opened up. So, that means the third nadi, the shushumna is opening and the prana start flowing in the third nadi. And also pranayama enhance the willpower, immune system, it boosts the energy, it really start the richer blood supply in our brain. Huh? So, the cortex in the brain. So, overall pranayam is a very important practice for keeping us healthy. We can say it is a key for our mental health, it is a key for our health. So, we 
everyone should do pranayam on regular basis. So, for everyday practice, one can do the basic pranayam that is alternate nostril breathing or nadi shodhan pranayam. So, as we all know, we have different nadis, main important nadis are three, ida, pingala and shushumna. So, ida is left nostril or the cool or the moon or chandra nadi, right is pingala or the heat surya nadi or it really activate the heat and third nadi is shushumna. So, nadi shodhan pranayam is a balance between ila and pingala. So, of course, when there is a harmony, when there is a balance, we are more healthy. So, see the technique of nadi shodhan pranayam, how you can do. So, sitting upright, back straight, closing your eyes, controlling your senses, withdrawal yourself, then you inhale with left nostril with. So, for closing your no left nostril, you have to make this mudra. So, first two fingers index and middle fingers you close and this you open. So, if you want to close your right nostril, you close your right nostril with the thumb. So, close your below the nose, nose. now your left nostril is open and you can place this in between here in the bridge of your nose. So, this now your right is closed. When you want to close left one with fingers, you close this and thumb you can keep it in between your bridge nose. So, this is the manipulation of your fingers. Okay? This is must, this is a traditional way of doing in Hatha Pradipka. You can see the hand should be kept in this way. The second hand you can keep in Gyan Mudra, index finger and thumb together. Now, you can inhale with left nostril and while inhaling, you can feel the touch of air from your nostril to the, so there is expansion of your chest, expands and do not bulge out your abdomen too much. Just keep in a protected form in purak in inhalation. Then close your left nostril and exhale with your right nostril in double time. Slowly you can exhale long. Then again you inhale with same right nostril. Then close your right after inhalation, after purak. Then your left is open. Then long exhalation, double. So, this is your one cycle of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam Anulom Vilom. Just remember always your Rechak must be double of your Purak. If you are not able to do the twice Rechak, first you check your Rechak, how much you can exhale without uh, discomfort very easily slowly you exhale and you can take your inhalation half of your inhalation just take half inhale and twice exhale then again so this way you can do nadi shodhan pranayam and really you will initially you can start with five rounds every week you can add three more rounds so then 10 then you can go so, normally in daily routine at least two times you can do Nadi Shodhan Pranayam Analom Vilom morning and evening. Okay? Then see the benefit.